Good morning, folks. We've got several stories to hit today. Sunspot characteristics of big flares, cosmic rays and air travel, and long solar cycle impacts on the Earth. Of course, we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. You know, the last several instances of what was supposed to be the downtime between the 3 and 5.9 month cycle upticks have not been so quiet. That's sunspot maximum for you. But we are having quite a bit of a quiet spell at the moment. The last 24 hours exemplifies with no significant solar flares or eruptive activity. The next geo-effective space weather will be from this coronal hole. It is set to ignite an earthquake watch due to the interplanetary magnetic field interactions in the next day or two and its solar wind will be arriving this weekend. Minor geomagnetic storm activity is expected from it. But let's go to the weather next. I know there are not a lot of people watching me in China, but it is worth knowing the blistering cold they are enduring at the moment. Nobody there is happy about it, according to their social media. I'll say that. Moving on to this excellent preprint where they looked at sunspots that made bigger solar flares and found that the polarity inversion line is a controlling factor of flare power. That is the Delta class sunspot interaction zone. The bigger the closely interacting area, the more likely a bigger flare will be. Maybe a good way to predict the big one someday. Good study up next on cosmic radiation and air travel. Not surprisingly, they found that the cosmic ray maxima, which inversely follows the sunspot cycle, is the key determinant of the dosage received at altitude. We've seen that before, but not so much out of Europe. Welcome aboard, crew. Last but not least, what happens during grand solar minimums? Not only does it result in a temperature drop, but a drop in precipitation, which leads to major crop losses. This has been suggested many times by many sources, including some of our older videos on drought, famine, and death during grand solar minima. This paper breaks open the mechanisms between the cause and eventual effect. We greatly appreciate your support. Right now, the hard copies of our books are not available, but the PDFs are, and they are on sale here for the last days of the year. Link is below. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.